Welcome to the Red Fort in Old Delhi. Crossing the road is like Frogger. This is Luke Jones the other way from Old Delhi, capital of India, since 1911. And there's no more fitting place to start than the Red Fort. And luckily, I've got Vinay here who's going to be showing us around. Hi, everyone. And have we got the tickets? Yes, there you go. On the phone. That's one of the great things about India. It's all digital. So, should we go in? Right. Let's go. We're in luck because the rain stopped, so we don't need this anymore. The Red Fort and I have history. On my first ever visit to India 11 years ago, I flew straight into Delhi and obviously came here. Now there was bright sunshine back then, but we're fortunate the rain stopped. Now this place behind, the sign doesn't actually tell you where we are, it just says keep off the grass. But I've been informed that Divaniam is the call that the Mughal emperors used to have when back in they built this thing in the 17th century, they wanted to speak to the commoners and tell them what they thought. Two interesting facts about the Red Fort. First of all, not all of it's red. As you can see behind me, a lot of the buildings are actually white. And the second thing is it is absolutely massive. Okay, we could spend all day here. <laughs> um, now I'd love to, but otherwise we'll miss out on showing you anything more of old Delhi. So uh, let's keep going. Okay, everyone, say cheese! Wow, well, that was amazing. So, what next? <laughs> you must be hungry. A uh, little bit after all that walking. What do you recommend? I recommend you, you should try Indian street food. Street food? Well, I've heard about Delhi street food. So, uh, which way? There you go. Lead the way. Ooh. Well, we were lulled into a false sense of security inside the Red Fort. It was nice and peaceful there. Now we're back out to what Delhi is really like. Let's get something to eat. Well, street food we wanted, street food we got, and street is the operative word. So, here we go. Okay. Well, that was certainly good timing because it's pouring with rain again. So, what exactly have we got here? Is this chicken fried? Fried chicken, okay. Well, it's not quite KFC, at least from the outside, but I'm sure it tastes good. And what else is here? This is salad, this is chutney, this is rumali roti. Right, so we've got roti, chicken, onion. Let's give it a try, shall we? Can I try? Sure. Oh, it's hot. And what they say about street food is that you should always make sure that it's cooked right in front of you, which we did, so it's obviously fresh. Mm. Oh, and it's very, very good. Oh, I need to try the chutney as well. Hang on, let's dip it in here. Not your typical chutney from back home, but... Mm. Oh, that is proper spicy. Mm. 
was lovely. Oh, plenty of onion, and you need a nut roti. What more could we need before the rain starts? Are you going to have some? No, I've got, I've got one, you eat. Oh, you're not eating today? Right. As you probably noticed, about 80% of Indians are vegetarian. Now, Bine is what we call non veg so he does, but he refrains from eating meat on a Saturday. Now, why is that? So it's something which we follow. Something uh, which we follow, yeah? Semi. Sunny. We watch it semi, and uh, we avoid eating non veg and alcohol on Saturday. No alcohol on a Saturday, oh dear. I can understand Monday, but anyway, the chicken is fantastic. You have some onion though, okay? All right. Cheers. Uh, in local tradition, the easiest way to wash your hands after a rainstorm. Are you sure you're okay? Crossing the road is like fogger. Still no respite from the rain, but after that wonderful fried chicken, it's time for dessert. So what are we having today? So we have rabri paruda. It's a conscious meal. You must try. Okay. And we have rasmalai. Rasmalai. Rasgulla. So. Right. Well, lots, lots of names that I don't know, but should we try them? Sure. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> Well, I was hoping for some dessert, but this looks more like a main course. What exactly is this stuff? So this is Batura. Uh, Batura. Uh, this is Chola. Chole. Chole. And this is mango pickle, onion, and rabbi paluda. You want to try? Yeah, what? How it tastes? Okay, this is quite good. But this is not sweet. Yeah, this is salty. This is more of a spicy thing. Okay, what's this? It's a dessert. Ah, oh, this is the dessert. Finally, we got to the dessert. And this is what the guy was making earlier on. Okay, this is a kind of like rice pudding with, uh, with some sort of pasta in it. Vanilla, kind of creamy sauce. You know what? It's actually pretty good. Well, look, I've been doing far too much eating. You start eating, uh, you know. And it's even got ice in it to keep it cool. Although it's not that warm at the moment. I was told Delhi is always really hot. It was last time I was here, but uh, we've got British weather today. Right, well, I think I've eaten far too much. Okay, you know, what's next on the list? Uh, I think you need a haircut. Uh, I think I do, actually. I haven't had one since I arrived in India. Any suggestions? Right next to me. <laughs> so the moment of truth has arrived, getting my hair cut for the first time in India. And I've got Nina, who's my personal stylist. So can you make me look like a Bollywood superstar? So let me see what I can do. <laughs> okay, well, let's sit down. <laughs> I'm not sure what all that discussion was about, but it was hopefully Hindi for a short back and sides. Well, I think I look better already. What do you reckon? So it's time for Chumpy. Are you ready for it? Chumpy, what's that? It's a head massage. Head massage, okay. Yeah. Well, let's give it a go. <laughs> oh. One haircut and one rather wet rickshaw ride later. It's dark. I've had enough for today, okay? So uh, there's only one place worth heading. I don't believe it. It might be raining, but we've just found an Irish pub in the middle of Delhi. That was the end of part one. Stay tuned for part two.
Tschüss.